Hi, my name is Dr. Tia Higano. I'm a professor at the University of Washington, and I'm one of the principal investigators on the phase 1-2 study of MDV3100 in patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. MDV3100 is a unique, uh, pure antiandrogen that was uh, synthesized by Dr. Charles Sawyers. Uh, and it's in clinical trials because of its unique properties in that there are three ways it can actually affect the uh, testosterone axis, which is first by the classical mechanism of uh, blocking testosterone uh, at the androgen receptor. Um, secondly, though, it also prevents uh, influx of the androgen, uh, the AR and testosterone complex, into the nucleus of the cell. And third, by the fact that it prevents um, transcription of DNA um, in, in the nucleus again. And so this compound is different from other antiandrogens that we have available because it has no uh, known agonist activity. So we were involved um, in this trial, first in man. Uh, we, we actually, our center actually put the first couple patients on this compound um, in 2007. Uh, the, Early on, this was a phase one trial, it was a dose escalation trial, uh, so we didn't really know that it was going to be so good that the dose levels would be expanded when we saw very good um, PSA declines. So the original report um, was in The Lancet, it was published last year, it included uh, all 140 patients through 2009. This report that we're giving at ASCO, uh, sorry, at AUA, um, <laughs> it includes a longer follow-up, much longer now through um, uh, April of 2010. It includes all the patients, but it updates the data on the 44 patients who were still on the trial at the time of the Lancet um, presentation. So I think what we're, you're going to hear from my presentation later today is that um, the results that were in Lancet are very durable. They're consistent um, with the, the, re the long term results are consistent with um, that original report. And we also did a, a, an interesting exploratory analysis looking at patients who were in the chemotherapy naive group who had never had ketoconazole before. And that's a very interesting subset that have had a very long time to. Um, progression of 1.9 years, and this is interesting because this is a population that we're now studying in a phase 3 trial um, called Prevail, uh, looking, at, looking at that exact same population. So that study is ongoing. As are numerous other studies, um, there's the phase 3 trial that's been completed in the post-chemotherapy group. Um, there is monotherapy study uh, looking at um, MDB3100 alone in men who need androgen deprivation. And there's another randomized phase two trial called TERRAIN in which patients with early um, castration resistant disease um, who might need an, an antiandrogen will be randomized by glutamide or MDV3100. So I think it's um, very exciting data. I think it shows that this is an active um, compound with um, durable responses. And I think it's exciting for patients who might be able to get this in the not too distant future.